Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, just uh, a bit of a different video this week. I wasn't really going to put a vid up, but uh, I've just recently got 100 subs. So yeah, I thought I'd throw a, a bit of a different vid. And uh, it's what's on your coffee table. Uh, I've got a couple of vids on the way. I've got some uh, I've a massive amount of PS3 pickups that are so cheap now. Uh, I've got some imports for the PS3 coming. And I've also, uh, next week, I'm going to pick up a new pair of trainers or sneakers for first in a while, actually, which is the Adidas Hamburg. So uh, hopefully you see a, another video next week. But this week, um, yeah, what's on your coffee table? Now, I've got a big chunky coffee table here, and I bought that for the reasons I love coffee table books. Um, so I'll just show you what I've got on mine. And if you want to do a uh, video response... Then, you know, feel free to post something back. I'll just talk you through the books on mine. You know, like artwork books, you know, culture books that I'm interested in, um, stuff like that. But yeah, let's have a look. Obviously, we've got a beer there, which I'll be having shortly. So let's just move that out of the way. It's nice and cold. Um, okay, now, first of all, here are these ladies here. What's a classic album covered by Roxy Music? Uh, now, this book. It's a great big book, it's actually designed to be as big as an LP, an old style LP. See my hand there, it's a massive book. Uh, greatest album covers of all time. And it's a great coffee table book this. It goes through all the decades, uh, lots of different artwork, obviously the Beatles there, you know. Uh, Bob Dylan, Elvis. I mean it goes through you know, all the way, the 80s, you know, Sex Pistols, iconic cover that one. This is a fun, never heard of him. Uh, Dr. Alamian Tzado, or whatever his name is, uh, best dressed chicken in town. Uh, but it goes right up to sort of quite modern. Um, urban 2000s. So, um, 2000s alternative rock. Um, you know, 1990s, Sonic Youth, Hole, you know, even Blink-182, LL Cool J, Ice Cube, um, that's a good book. So yeah, that's the first book I've got on my coffee table. Second book, something I got off the internet this, it's uh, just an art book really. Um, Kicks Japan. Now, obviously, I, co I collect uh, trainers, sneakers, and this is uh, it's one of them. Got it really because you've got a nice uh, Japanese girl with some LA trainer on the front. So, yeah, it's another good book. Uh, next book I've got on the top here at the moment. This is quite a special book. I actually won this on Twitter. Um, it's a limited edition. I think there's only 750 copies of this published. Uh, it's for an exhibition in London that was the uh, Adidas exhibition. Uh, I can't remember where it was held now so I do apologise for that. But it is basically a sort of book of Adidas trainers. So that's quite a, quite a good book, it's quite limited that one. Uh, the book's a bit like a Adidas trainer box, it's got the size guide on the bottom. So, uh, yeah, the, an incomplete Adidas history from a fan's perspective, it says. <laughs> so, that's a pretty cool book. Now, I've got a shelf under here as well, with some other bits and bobs on. So, I'll show you what's under here, get them out now. Let's have a look at this one. This is uh, Sneakers, the Complete Collector's Guide. More of the same, really. Uh, not limited to Adidas, so it's got other stuff in there. Which obviously I don't care about because I only collect Adidas, but <laughs> yeah, it was a good little book. So on your coffee table. So there's another sneaker one. Um, these just magazines really that I've picked up. These are just whatever really. Just, I don't know, something to read. Next book. Another big book. Yeah, it's an Adidas book. 
Uh, it's actually a photography book and really it is just random photographs from history of people wearing Adidas. So it's obviously a sponsored book. Uh, Paul McCartney there, Marker, wearing some Adidas. Yeah, and it's just, you know, photographic book really. It's a photo book, but it's a good coffee table book. There's Bowie, and, you know, it's uh, some Oasis uh, in concert there. I actually went to that concert. But yeah, so it's, it's a nice book, a lot of, uh, a lot of black and white photos and stuff like that, but I won't go through the whole thing. But um, yeah, it's a good book. Sean Ryder. Public Enemy there, just seen. Paul Weller. Another Damon album. So yeah, I mean it's a pretty good, it's a pretty cool uh, book for the coffee table that one. So that's another one. That one is called uh, The World Is. Quite limited that one. Uh, what else have we got down here? Next book I've got. This is a lovely book this. It's, um, yeah, like uh, obviously video games as well. Uh, Marvel v Capcom official complete works. Now this is oh, the artwork in here is this is a beautiful book, beautifully illustrated. Deadpool. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at the artwork there, guys. That is um, just an amazing. I mean, the whole book is filled with this kind of artwork. So I mean I highly recommend this book for any any fans of Capcom or Marvel. So it covers all the games. All the artwork produced for those games. So that's a really nice book that one guys. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, here we go. I've seen this and I just sort of gotta get it. I mean they brought a few now, there's a silver one. I think there's a set of five in this book, and they're not all out yet in this series, but The Golden Age of DC Comics. It's a massive book, you see how thick this is. See, again, trying to get a perspective, this is a really big coffee table, guys. To, and this is a really big book. Um, and in here, really, it's just it's the history of DC Comics. So you've got all sorts of early stuff. Now this covers... Uh, 35 to 56. And so the next one is the Silver Age, which is from 56 to, I don't know, about 1970, something like that. But yeah, it's a fantastic coffee table book. I will eventually get the others, but I mean, this is just an oddity now, really, just people to flick through. Superboy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a great book. So uh, that's another one, just a bit of a random. And let's see what else I've got down here. So I'll just reach over to the other side. This is another great book, actually. It's uh, a quite chunky one. It's the art of video games. Now this is not so much the the cover art. This is the actual pixel art, and it's a, it's a fantastic book. Star Fox. You know, it goes all the way through Mario there, obviously. Earthworm Jim on the Genesis or Mega Drive, Gunstar Hero, and it goes all the way back. Zaxxon, um, Pete's Nastastic's actually done a review. Of that. I had a spare copy of this, so I sent someone. So he, he's done a review of this, but um, well, there's Zaxxon, sorry, so I don't know what the other one was. Pitfall, but it's uh, a combat on the uh, 2600 Atari, fantastic. But yeah, it goes right up to modern age, really. Minecraft, Zelda, Wind Waker, Pikmin, Star Fox again. Yeah, so it's pretty Metal Gear Solid, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, which is a, well, it's a great game, isn't it? On the PS2 and the HD one on the PS3. Yeah, I think Sham using the Heavy Rain. But yeah, I mean, look at the cover, great book. 
Right, and we're nearly there now, guys. Just two more to go, I think. A couple more. The end. Football fanzine, Liverpool. Just a compilation, really, from, from the 80s fanzine. So that's obviously football culture. Uh, this is a great book, 80s Casuals. This is the A4 edition. You can't get many of these uh, about. You can get the smaller version. Well, I think they're all out of print now, but... This is 80s fashion, a uh, really good overview, obviously Adidas trainers in there, which is why I got it. Um, oh, it's a great book, uh, if you ever see this guys in A4 size, pick it up, it's a really, really nice book. Right, and oh, there is actually two more down here on the lower shelf. Uh, sneakers, surprise, surprise, sorry, sneakers, trainers, sorry. Get an American there. Um, yeah, same again. Just a, another book that covers obviously a lot of Adidas and other trainers, which is obviously what I'm into. And last but not least, I'm just reaching underneath here, guys, to the far side, so just bear with me a second. Dresses, another football casual culture stuff. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's come out quite recently, this. It's just all about... Off, it's about sort of following a firm, which, yeah, is so, so interesting read. And then, obviously, you've got the... All the fashion kind of stuff that goes with that. You know, all the Adidas and... You know, Sergio Tachini and what have you. I mean, again, a lot of train articles there, which is why I got it. So... Yeah, that's it really everyone. Just a quick look at what's on my coffee table, which is quite a lot actually, looking at it. But uh, yeah, so if you want to do a vid response or let me know what you think, uh, what you've got on your coffee table book, you know, book-wise and stuff like that, uh, just let me know. Like I say, I've got a couple more vids coming up soon. Um, before I go, uh, yeah, Kiev's fallen to the people, so power to the people there. That uh, puppet uh, Russian regime has gone, which is great. Power to the people, man. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's my coffee table, everyone. What's on yours? Take care. Bye.